Well, hello there, interneters and YouTubers and whatnoters and stuff. So if you saw my last video, you saw this little guy here, which I turned into channel strips. So it's no longer a mixer. It is six independent channel strip mic preamps. So we got mic inputs and goes through some gain based treble. And now what were inputs down here, these are now outputs. So this would be a great solution if you've got a sound card or audio interface where you might have two mic preamps, but up to six inputs, like quarter inch inputs that you don't have preamps for. So these would be great for dynamic mics, obviously no phantom power, but hey, get what you pay for. This gives me six channels and it costs me less than what this cost me, which is one channel. So one channel with phantom power, six channels without phantom power. Uh, so a lot of old microphones, like the older designs, think of like a, a 57. And a Shure SM57 was designed back when microphone impedances, um, uh, I'm sorry, where input impedances on things like mixing boards were much lower. So I know my Motu interface, I have a Motu 8 Pre, and it's, I think it's like 1500 ohms of input impedance. Whereas back in the days when the 57 was designed, input impedances were, I don't know, 500 or 600, don't quote me on that, 500 or 600 ohms. So this would be an easy way to get it down there. Also, another thing that you can do, let me um, put my high-tech contrast panel in here. Are we thrifty or what? So let's say you have eight microphone inputs and you want to be able to get a more vintage correct matching between the microphone and the preamp. Well, I got another way of doing that. So I bought a few of these, got these on Amazon and I turned them into some of these. So 680 ohms. So I had to do some math for this. Um, what I did was figure out the impedance that it currently exists based on the, the impedance of the signal. And if I combined that with this, it brings me down close to 600 ohms, which was what I was aiming for. So started with this little guy. And what you do, take out this side. It's much easier because it has the soldering cups. And I soldered in my resistor. What was that? Pins, pins two and three. It's not, the black wire's in the way. So what that does is that'll bring my input impedance down to 600 ohm range. So depending on what the impedance is of the interface that you're using or the you know, mic preamp, whatever, uh, you'll have to do some math there. I think if you Google it, you know, there's some formulas out there. If I can find a good one, I'll post it in the comments. Uh, yeah, plug in the formula and you'll figure out the resistor value that you need. It should, I would think it would be under under a K, so anywhere between 500 to a, to a 1K resistor should do just fine. If you wanted to make it variable, you could uh, mount it into some form of an enclosure, um, you know, get a, get some form of, let's see if I have one here that doesn't have too much junk in it. I do, I do. You could take some kind of a box and I don't know, make a couple of them all in one and put in some some controls. I think I have some, an all parts one mega ohm one here. And you could make it variable. So get you all kinds of different types of sounds loading the, the preamp. So yeah, I think I was under under $20 and I got enough to build four and I got a bag of resistors that's enough to make a hundred. So I'm set for a while. So if anybody needs one, let me know, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. So there we go.
there's our finished product. That's what we started with. Well, that's the finished product taken apart. There's the finished product. So I can do, well, I've got more to do. So there we go. Eventually I'll have four. I'm even thinking of maybe making them slightly different. So I have, I'll have two at 680, and then maybe I'll use that potentiometer that I have and try out different values and measure it out and figure out what to make these ones. And I can probably get different, different frequency responses all from a dynamic microphone. So there it is. Another thrifty producer tip for you.